it's day 29 of vlogist today it's raining a little here today well it's raining a lot here today <laughs> but right now it's kind of light and um, but fortunately I have everything in the house that I need for everything that I want to cook today so I bought a really beautiful seeded multigrain bread when I was at Whole Foods yesterday and I'm gonna to toast a piece of that and make some avocado toast and I'll show you what I put in my avocado toast and I think for lunch I'm gonna just I'm kind of craving spaghetti so I think I'm just gonna make a little bit of spaghetti with a little tomato sauce and some basil which you probably see growing behind me here there it is <laughs> and for dinner I'm gonna turn my camera around because I'm gonna show you in a cookbook what I'm planning for dinner Say hi, Bella. So I've showed you this cookbook several times before, The Mediterranean Table, and I'm going to try to make this recipe. It's called Greek Chicken Drumsticks, and I'm probably not going to make it exactly the way they say with, they have with roasted lemon, fresh oregano, and feta cheese. Bella's helping. Thank you, Bella. Um, I don't have any feta cheese, but I do have halloumi cheese, which is something that I've never even heard of until I bought this cookbook, but they have several recipes in here with halloumi cheese, which is um, kind of a, I haven't, I haven't eaten it yet, so I don't know what it tastes like, but it's a white cheese that is strong enough to hold up, it doesn't really melt, um, so you can grill it and, and do all kinds of things with it. So I think I'm going to, I bought a bunch of drumsticks at Whole Foods yesterday, so I'm going to try to... First you brown them a little bit and then you put them on a, a baking sheet like this and you roast them. So um, first I'm going to brown the drumsticks and I'm going to put some of the halloumi cheese on top and sprinkle some lemon around and then you make a little breadcrumb topping that has breadcrumbs, olive oil, some lemon zest and some oregano in it and you sprinkle that on top and I just think it looks really good. Let me show you a better shot of the picture. So doesn't that look good? Although they have feta cheese on top, I'm going to try it with halloumi and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I hope you enjoy today. For breakfast, I'm gonna make some avocado toast. So I'm gonna chunk up this avocado and how I like to make it is I just put in a little salt, a little ground pepper, a little red pepper, and then extra virgin olive oil. And I'm going to eat it on this amazing multigrain bread that I bought at Whole Foods yesterday. dark and stormy out so I hope this picture isn't too dark but 
We just finished dinner and I have to admit it was only okay. <laughs> it was tasty. Um, the halloumi cheese was really good and the breadcrumb mixture that goes on the chicken, it's a mixture of breadcrumbs and some olive oil and lemon zest and minced garlic and that was really tasty. But chicken legs just kind of gross me out. <laughs> like, I, I just don't like um, chicken legs and um, so I should have known better when I decided to make it. But I think I'll try it again with chicken cutlet because I think it would work really well with boneless chicken because you could still pan sear it a little bit and then bake it in the oven with some of the halloumi cheese and the breadcrumb mixture on top and some little lemon slices around and I think that would come out really tasty. I made it with some Mediterranean couscous that had raisins and almonds in it so it had a little bit of little touch of sweetness to it so it was a very Mediterranean dinner very Greek um, and it was really tasty I just I'm kind of just not into chicken legs. <laughs> so um, I hope you enjoyed today. We only have two days left of vlogging, so please stay with me till the end. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow.